In my journey of playing anime based or anime inspired video games, I keep facing this one inescapable and unavoidable tumor that never ceases to haunt me and it has to do with how they designed their dialogue. Mainly the whole shtick where if you want to advance to the next dialogue box, you have to do it manually, usually by clicking X. I've never been a huge fan of this idea and the only way I see it as being even remotely beneficial is when the game has no voice acting at all. If that's the case, then fine I guess. But when they do include voice acting, it's one of the most annoying things you could possibly experience. And look, I understand the need to do this, especially in instances where the dialogue can be composed of useful information that's in-game related, and you might need to process that info at your own pace. But when the dialogue is just nothing but the characters talking to each other, it completely breaks the immersion and it's just very taxing constantly having to click a button to forward a conversation which only doubles the tediousness in the realm of anime games because for some reason, a lot of them have bizarrely slow speeches. This is something I never really understood. Why do you have to talk in such a slow manner? There's no reason to do that. No reason at all. If you're giving us the option to read the dialogue at our own pace by choosing when to forward it, that means I can just read everything and catch up if I somehow miss an important piece of information, which that never happens anyway. I just... I fucking hate how slowly they speak. And don't even get me started on visual novel, overly simplistic, sprite-based bullshit presentation that... Honestly, I don't even want to get into that subject. Some games, on the other hand, try to be a little less annoying with this approach. Storm 3 is a good example of this, as for a lot of the cutscenes, you don't need to do the hard work. The conversation flows itself like a self-animated and self-paced cutscene. It's not always like this, there are some moments in the story where you yourself have to advance the conversation, but not only do they tend to be somewhat brief, they're also not that frequent. I mean, honestly, the only times I can recall dealing with these instances were whenever I was being oriented and giving an indication on where to go next. But when it came to more character-driven or hype-inducing moments, I had the freedom to just let go of my joystick and watch the cutscenes. Also worth noting that side missions don't feature voice acting and the text bubbles are manually skipped, which I think is justified because no one gives a shit about the side missions, you just end up doing them because you want to complete the game. So all you need to do is just read the text, get everything you want in a time efficient way, and go to work. Plus, I'm gonna assume that hiring voice actors to record some lines is not a very cheap deal, so maybe it's also cost efficient for Bandai Namco to limit the voice acting to just the main storyline events. Though while I think Storm 3 had the right idea, not everyone thinks the same way. Some people think the cutscenes were a little too lengthy, which personally, I don't think they were that long, although I do admit that Cyber Connect 2 went a little bit loose here in their attempt to extensively adapt the source material, which for some people it can be a good thing, but for others, it's probably more than they're willing to put up with. While I'm perfectly fine with how the dialogue is designed, it probably could have been more beneficial to these complainers if they had the option to just skip to the next dialogue box and read at a faster pace, because while you could also argue that they could just skip the cutscenes if they really don't like how long they are, but if they're complaining about this issue, it's probably because they do genuinely care about consuming the dialogue. If I had to propose a compromise, I probably would have gone what Attack on Titan Wings of Freedom did, which was giving us the option to turn on or disable automated dialogue, which is basically a win-win for everybody. Although the game has one glaring problem. The words take an eternity to be fully typed, to the point where there are many times when the voice actors are awkwardly ahead of the text. In situations like these, you basically have no option but to click X for the full text to be shown, which defeats the point of making the dialogue automated. Also, you have to be extra careful not to accidentally interrupt the voice actor when they basically only have one or two words before they move on to the next dialogue box, which you won't even be able to tell until they're finished talking. It's a fucking nightmare. And they were so close to getting it right, they just had to make the text slightly faster and it would have been perfect. I mean, whatever, it's still a pretty good game, I like it, though then again, any game that gives me the option to slaughter titans as Mikasa is automatically a 10 out of 10 for me, so maybe I'm a little bit biased here. Anyway, the point of this video is that I want every voice performed story driven anime game to take the burning blood route and abandon this stupid manual text skipping bullshit system. It's aggravating as hell and I hate it.